All right, guys, I am so late in the stuff I wanted to cover. This patch is coming so fast. Pocket Dimension found it yesterday is going to be coming by Monday. I have a video on that, talking about the team I'd like to use on that. Uh, I stand by it. Uh, a lot of people have been bringing up Fury and Black Widow as possible replacements in that. I like the Fury angle because of his need for um, Omega Red, but I still like my team better just for uh, ease with the Night Nurse doing a lot of healing. Anyway, I digress. I want to talk about this event because this is the kind of event I've been longing for. This is the good kind of event from old. I want to quickly talk about it, quickly break it down, show you some of the math that I worked out, what you can expect to have to input to get your desired output. But first, let's look at these rewards because these rewards are juicy. So, obviously the very beginning, I've already collected one. We see some training modules, some gold orbs, lots of purple and blue stuff, kind of whatever. More training orbs, which is nice. Another gold. Then we get into some good stuff. Some SBCs. I just want to pause it here. Look at these gear tier 14 and 15 orbs. This is fantastic. We're getting some of the, uh, well, SBCs. That's great. Scarlet Witch Shards, which, which that's not going to be great for a lot of players, but for new players it'll be good. A Mega Orb. A, a pitiful amount of promo credits. But back to some catalysts. More SBCs. A good 300. That 25 unique that you see right there is for Morgan the Fey. It's a brand new one, so that's great. Basically, what I'm shooting for before she comes out is I want to get at least 12, which I already have. And then that 25 is then going to be 12 for gear tier 13, that 25 for gear tier 14, then the long haul for gear tier 15. We have to farm another 24. But this is great. And then you see we got uh, half of an E4 there, some blue ISO. I don't really like the blue ISO amounts, they don't make sense. Same with the premium stuff. But the teal gear, and then we have that nice frog's breath orb. Very cool to finish off the E4. We get some teal pieces from Morgan, which is nice too. More promos, and here's the really good stuff, the gear tier 16. So that's 9,000 per. If, if we were to break that down, it's like, it's a good amount of orders. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and break that down. Let's count it out. So let me just find where it starts. Right there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 90,000, which is 45 orbs, right? If I'm not mistaken, 2,000 per. Anyway, it's a lot. It, this, this event could literally push me past Dark Dimension 5. And I have spent no money on Teal Gear. I'm just in a hardcore raid alliance. So I think there's going to be a wave of people finishing Dark Dimension 5 off the back of this event. And all the gear tier 13 and, or 14 and 15 minis is fantastic. The Elite 6. The rewards of this event are huge. So we got to examine like how are we going to get them, right? Well, we get them by spending cauldron points. You get one point per cauldron you spend. Cauldrons are a in-game currency for a store. Let's look at that store real quick. So we get some teal pieces at the top. When I say I don't buy teal gear, I don't buy anything in this store either, on either level, which is probably not smart, but I buy these SBCs because I'm trying to keep up with the inflow of new characters. I'm buying any kind of mystic pieces I see in this store to get ready for the dark hold. Uh, and then it's purple gear and some training modules. I don't suggest you spend on the purple gear training modules, even if that's what you need currently. I think you should stock up on SBCs and maybe even some teal gear if you're like fresh, fresh. But let's look at the cauldron, like how we're going to occur it. So for the regular campaign, so one for one trade, one energy gets you one cauldron. That's good. For ISO 8 campaign, it's a two for one trade. One ISO 8 energy gets you two cauldrons. Fantastic. For Blitz Sim, you get 23 per win. For a manual, you get 25. This clearly means you should just keep simming. There's no point in manually for this. It's not as uh, drastic a benefit as they've had in previous events like this, where I think it used to be, if it was 23 for Blitz, it would have been like 35 for manual. They didn't go that route, so Sim is definitely the absolute winner. And then daily objectives, we get them, um, I, uh, I don't know them off the top of my head, but anyway, we're getting some cauldrons from these four as well. So we're getting a lot from just doing our regular stuff with the campaign, the daily objectives, and then blitz on top of it. So let's talk about the regular stuff. And here I'm going to make an assumption that people are going to do 50, uh, four 50 core refreshes on their campaign, which is something every player should do. It'll keep up with your gold, your training modules, your gear. But for this event, I'm going to assume people are doing 50 on their ISO 8 as well. 
And I know not, a lot of people don't normally do that, and I'll do a different uh, calculation afterwards where we don't take that into effect. But I strongly suggest you do that because you will run out of green ions. I personally am running out of green ions, the controller and the brawlers, the crunch is real. So if you're bringing up a lot of teams, you're definitely going to feel it. So we have the cord uh, cauldrons that we're going to get, 480 from the campaign and 960 from the ISO-8. That's just because you get 120 energy per, per refresh, it doubles up for ISO-8, I'm going to take my word on that. So campaign and ISO-8 free energy again, that is the three free energies we get. For me it's at 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern. And we get 80, so that's 240, double it up for ISO-8 again. The ISO-8 energy you occur over the day just by not capping and not having energy burn is going to get you 720 cauldrons and for the campaign energy it's going to get you 288. The reason it's not just double there is because we get more ISO-8 energy. And then we get 575 from our daily objective. So let's break that down into something more palatable, just the, the finished numbers and what we're going to have to do. So daily doing those 50 core refreshes, we're going to get 3,743 points. This is a 14 day event. I know I'm already behind, so we've already basically burned through the first day. That's going to get you 52,402 points out of the 85,000. So a big chunk of this milestone is done just from doing your daily activities or what I assume people do daily. So what's left over? We need 32,598 points from Blitz. We're going to divide that by 23, which is what you get from doing a sim blitz, which means overall we need 1,418 blitz sim wins. That's a lot of blitz sim wins. Kind of scary, but it's not really that bad. So I'm going to assume that people have a 30 team roster. I have a 38 team roster. I could win at 8.3 with like 37 if I'm paying attention. So I'm going to break that down to 30. If it's a little bit lower, I suggest you do this calculation starting from this point right here with the 1418 divided by the amount of teams you can use to win, get this number, and then do the following calculations. So using a 30 winning team roster, we need to do 47.3 rotations. We have 14 days through those rotations, so it's only 3.4 rotations a day. That's not a lot. It's not. Uh, round that up to 3.5. So basically, um, you just do four rotations a day. And if you miss out on the fourth rotation every other day, you'll be okay. So that's that's not so bad, but I know everyone's core inflow is not the same. So you may not be doing that ISO-8 refresh. Let's redo some of these calculations. We're gonna take out the 50 cores on the campaign and on the ISO-8, so we're taking both out. This is gonna make the number look a little bit worse, but this is just like zero cores. All you need to do is make sure you're not capping on energy for this method. So this leads us to 2,303 points a day times 14, 32,000. So we need about 53,000 points from Blitz. That's 2,300 Blitz Sim wins. That's nearly a thousand more. That's gonna drastically change how much we need to do. So this is a lot of Blitz at this point. We need to do 76 rotations over the 14 days. Let's say 77 rotations, about five and a half rotations a day. This is going to greatly limit your wiggle room on like, managing your Blitz cooldown if you're not familiar with doing that, say you're not familiar with doing new character blitzes. So I strongly, strongly recommend doing your cores, biting the bullet on both the ISO-8 and the campaign energy, if you can afford it. If you Don't spend real money if you don't need to. Set your alarms, I know it sucks. It's a stupid thing to recommend, but the rewards are so good. And this is the kind of um, event we've been waiting for. This event is a success. The reason this is a success is because you don't need to spend any money to max it out to get that Elite Six, to get the Teal Gear, to get all... This is not a paywall event. There's no leaderboard. This is just a fun, good event. And the reason I really want to make this video is because I almost want to celebrate it because I would love for Scopely to get the kind of feedback like, hey, maybe I had to work for this event, but it was free. It wasn't $100, it wasn't $200. It was just some, what I would consider, good time gaming. Hit up some friends on Discord when you're doing your blitzes joke around, have some fun with your alliance. This game is about the community after all. So do that, get your rewards, power up some characters and have fun. And this doesn't even mention the other event, I guess, running in tandem with this. This event is a little bit hidden, which is why I wanted to shed light on it. Because not everybody uses the web store. 
go on over to the web store. If you're doing blitzes and you're doing arena, this milestone is just going to clear itself. It's just free stuff. It's not crazy stuff. Like we got purple gear, some catalyst, a gold orb, about 50 promos, which is nice. Some SBCs. And then we have four of those teal pieces for Morgan. This is just extra free stuff for getting on their store. You're going to have to hit the events tab and maybe look at their offers if that's something you feel compelled to do, but it's not that bad. Sorry, that was the music. I'll, uh, I'll black that out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you today. I'm sorry it's a day late. So hopefully you've done at least three rotations today and you can just pick up from here. If not, throw in five rotations tomorrow. Make sure you're doing those cores along the way and then you can drop back down to three and a half daily. Hope this helped you. Hope you're having a good weekend, a good start to the weekend. As always, stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, about to have a war against Legion tonight. So we're going to have a video on that. Uh, you're probably not going to get this by the time we're doing the war, but check it out on YouTube. We're going to have a video. Legion wars are always fun and crazy. All right, take care. Have fun. Bye.